Hey, what's up, you guys? Avenger Vast here, bringing you another figure review of the DC Collectibles Batman Arkham Knight Harley Quinn figure. This figure is so cool. I saw it at a comic book store and I, I said, you know what? Let me get this figure. Even though I don't have the Batman Arkham Knight game and I have the other two, I just don't have that one. I just haven't gotten a chance to get it yet. But I, I really like this figure, you know? Um, very cool. It comes with a lot of accessories. This bat, which is very cool. Would have been cool if it had some blood on there, but that's all right. Got some nice bolts up there. This bat looks weathered. Um, she comes with this jack in the box, which is a bomb, I think. It spins and there's a spring on here, it's like Harley Quinn, which is very cool. And the box looks very cool as well. She comes with a gun. This looks like a Desert Eagle. It's very cool. And she comes with the detonator, which I think is for that bomb I just showed off, but it might be for something else. It's very cool and she comes with some pair of hands she comes with two trigger finger holding hands she comes with one open palm and she comes with this hand which is for her bat and for the detonator and you can put the detonator in the hand like so so yeah fell on my hand but you get the idea so the figure itself is very cool I like the face sculpt looks all right not as um, cute and as pretty as Harley Quinn usually looks, but it still looks menacing and cute. I like the little um, highlights on the hair at the end. It looks kind of faded, which I don't know if that's like game accurate, but it still looks cool. The back looks very cool. This costume reminds me of Arkham City and Arkham Asylum mixed together, the costume, but it's very cool. So I guess she mixed the two together. So that's very cool. Um, you know little bolts in the uh, waist area has a little um, strap right here it's very cool um, I don't know what you would call this right here but it looks very cool and, it, and it's textured and everything has some nice dry brushing don't look at her boobs pervs uh, she has a nice skirt which is actually like is layered and that's very cool it's kind of soft but it's kind of hard at the same time uh, pause that didn't sound right. Um, leggings look really cool. Has a nice classic Harley Quinn look, which actually reminds me that it's three put, put together costume wise uh, Arkham Origins, I mean, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and then the comic version, which is very cool. You can see right here that this is like layered as well. I mean, and it comes out, which is very cool. Has nice diamond hexes right there. Boots look very cool. No treads at the bottom, which is okay. I'm not used to that on figures. It was very cool. I really just like how the figure looks. That's the gist of everything. Head looks up a decent amount. Moves down side to side and left and right. Arm moves back and forth, up and down. Swivel at the arm, single jointed arm. Hand moves up and down and side to side. Pretty good ab crunch. I really like that. It's back very far. Actually, it doesn't move back at all. But dab crunch is very nice. No waist swivel. Leg moves forward and back and out. Not really hindered by the skirt. Swivel at the thigh. Double joint the knees. Cast swivel. Foot moves back and forth. And she has an ankle pivot. So that's very cool. I really do like the articulation. Um, I don't have the other figures in the line. But this figure's articulation is very nice. Comparing her to the Batman Origins Batman. You can see that he is... Actually, let's see. She's not standing up straight. He's taller than her, so this is very scale-wise. But if you wanted to have someone like the DC UC Joker, it doesn't work out because she's taller. But if you wanted to have the DC Collectibles um, Greg Capullo Batman, that could work even though these two are from two different universes technically. But, you know, it could work. So I do like this figure. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, or maybe a 9 but this figure is very nice. I do like the look mostly. And yeah. All right, guys. Get this figure. It's around $25. And it's pretty cool. So check it out. All right, guys. Take care.